This is a Chucky Beat production. You see the clips. In this video, I'm about to show you guys the best playmaking badges that you need to go crazy on the ISO. And if you want to dribble like a goat, make sure y'all boys check out my whole dribble tutorial playlist. Link to that will be in the description down below. There's a lot of good videos that will teach you guys some combos that you can use to be different and go crazy on the ISO. Make sure y'all boys drop a like, drop a sub. Turn on classifications and let's get right into it. I have four different builds that I use and if you follow my channel more than likely you have at least one of these builds. All of these builds are different pot charts and they all get different amount of playmaking badges. So I'm going to show you guys the best loadout on all of these builds. You guys see my two way session playmaker. I have my two way pass first wing, my session playmaker. And my point forward so yeah man we're gonna go ahead and go over the two-way slash and playmaker first because this is probably my favorite and most used build all right so look man this is my two-way slash and playmaker my six five blue yellow with max wingspan you guys can see the progression on this build right here and for the badges for my playmaking this is what i use on this build to go crazy on the iso so let's just break this down just a little bit the most important badges that you need is you need quick first up you need handles for days you need unpluggable and then you also need bullet passer i always run handles for days quick first up and unplug unpluggable on the highest badge tier that they will go i've been using bullet passer on silver because i may i only play park and i don't really see notice a difference from silver to hall of fame and this also saves me a badge point but you have to have bullet passer because when you're on the iso and you dot your corners you don't want your pass to be extremely so so slow so make sure you guys run this badge at least on silver handles for days this just allows us to dribble longer without losing stem so you have to have that quick first step is probably the most important playmaking badge because this is going to make our player faster out of off the dribbles and the size ups and then unpluggable you don't want to be out here getting ripped so i run this hole all the way max out you might be able to get away with it on silver but i like to be safe because i have all my badges and i run it on a hall of fame on this build and then you also want to make sure that, that you have quick chain improves the ability to quickly chain drill moves together this just makes you dribble faster this is a very important badge and then you also want to make sure you run bailout at least on bronze you guys know how it is Sometimes you go and you pull a bad shot and you want to pass out of it. Without this badge and you try to pass out of a shot, the ball will go flying out of bounds. So make sure you have this at least on bronze. I've been running ankle breaker because the way that I dribble does get me a lot of good ankle breaker animations. Especially off the behind the back that I do in the double crossover. Ankle breaker is, is a really good playmaking badge. And then tight handles is also very underrated. I be getting a lot of shifty animations using this badge whenever I do my standstill dribbling combos. Tight handles is also a really good badge. This build has 25 playmaking badges in, in total and we get Hall of Fame and this is what I run on my two-way slash and playmaker. 
Next, we have my two-way pass first wing, my six this seven longest wingspan, half red, half yellow build, aka my LeBron James build for the progression. This is what I have currently on this build. I need to get this build to 99. You guys already know the vibes, but this is what I'm rocking with right now. And then as my playmaking badges goes, this is where I'm running on this build. We still need five more badges unlocked. I made build, a videos using this build on the ISO. You guys know me, I'd be going crazy on this build even without having my playmaking badges max. You guys see, we also get 25 on this build. So I would basically run the same badge setup with this build as well. Even though I'm six foot seven, I'm still gonna run handles for days, quick first sale, and unpluggable on Hall of Fame. I feel like having your unpluggable higher whenever you have a build with a lower ball handle is important. So on this build, we have a 76 ball handle, so I'll make sure I max that hoe out. We also have quick chain, which is gonna make us dribble faster. These are the essentials that you need, these little these badges that you guys are seeing right here. And like I said, I've been running bullet passer on silver too. I got bell out on bronze like I said before those badges really are the essentials these right here and then after that you can do with your badges whatever you want I like to run angle breaker on gold and then tight handles, tight handles on gold as well keep in mind shooting on this game especially from the corner is easy but if I need to sometimes I will either put a dimer on floor general on depending on who I run with but most of the time my teammates can shoot extremely well so they don't need floor general or dimer so this is what I'll be running for my two-way pass first wing. And you guys see, we still need five playmaking badges unlocked on this build. All right, so look, man, next, we have my slashing playmaker. This is my 6'4", two ticks under max wingspan, mostly blue with some green slashing playmaker build. And then for the progression on this build, I'll show you what we have right now. I'm still at 91 overall with this build. This build will go crazy at 99 overall. You guys see we get an 81 ball handle off rip. And then this build also gets contact dunks at 99 overall. For the badges, on this build, we, we get um, gold playmaking badges. So this is my badge setup currently. In the clips at the beginning of the video, I was using this build. And you guys see that I still need to get six playmaking badges. And right now we only have 10 and we still going crazy. And then you guys can see that I'm rocking the essentials as usual. I have my handles for days maxed out, quick first step ma maxed out, unpluggable on silver. And then I also have bullet passer on silver as well. So once I unlock more of my badges, I may put um, unpluggable on gold. Definitely gonna run bailout on bronze. And then I'm also gonna put quick chain on gold as well and then from there depending on what i need i'll either go tight handles or angle breaker so that's the playmaking badge setup that i would run on builds that only get gold playmaking badges we get 16 on this build which isn't as much as usual but these 16 are more than enough to go crazy on the iso as you guys have seen and for my last build this is my mostly yellow with some green 6-6 uh, two takes under max wingspan point forward. This was you. This build is using the new pie chart that came out in NBA 2K22. And like I said, it's mostly yellow with some green. This build, you guys can see the progression. This is the only build that I have at 99 overall. And the stats at 99 on this build are pretty crazy. You're basically a 6-6 play shot, but it comes out as a point forward. And then we also have sharp takes, which makes this, this build kind of unique. And one thing I really like about this build is that we get 30 playmaking badges and I like that a lot because there's so many useful playmaking badges that you need on this game. Go crazy on the ISO and yeah man we get Hall of Fame playmaking badges on this build. So just to show you guys one thing that I was doing, the other day I was running with two pure red builds meaning they had like a 55 three ball. So what I did is I threw on Hall of Fame floor general and hall of fame dimer just to help them hit from the corner but like i said if your spot ups or you know have a high three pointer or whatever the case may be because it is easy to shoot on this game i wouldn't run either of those and like i said i would probably put ankle breaker hall of fame and tight handles on this build we still have the essentials i have unpluggable on silver but you can always max that out too and you can really do whatever you want you can put spacer creator on gold depending on how many badges that you have or whatever the case may be but yeah man this is what i would run on my point forward 
So yeah, those are all the builds that I'm currently been playing with on NBA 2K22. I have a playmaking shot pair that I made at the beginning of the year, but that build is played out. I haven't played on that build in months. But yeah, man, those are all the best playmaking badges that you need to go crazy on the ISO. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions, if there's any badges that you guys think I should be running instead of the ones that I showed you guys, I would definitely try it out. But yeah, man, it's been your boy JR. Thank you boys so much for all your support. We out. Peace.